Hi everyone, today I'm gonna teach you how to make a ladybug cake topper. You're gonna need two balls, one little, one big, that's gonna depend how big you want your topper to be. And I'm gonna cut right there in the middle. You see um, my foam ball has right a line. I'm cutting a little next to the line because I wanna be sure that I'm not cutting too much because it's the first one. But you guys can cut as much you want it you know like as big as you want her to be just clean up and we have her head and now we're gonna cut the other one be careful cutting about that big to don't get hurt or to don't make uneven so go gentle just you cut half and then you cut a little bit more i'm fast forwarding this part of the video because it's just cutting um it's not a mystery it's just be careful your hands <laughs> and then Remember to clean everything before you play your dough. This time, um, this video I'm going to use cold porcelain. Um, that was a requested video and she needs a ladybug cake topper for her birthday party and she's going to use cold porcelain. So that's what I'm going to use. But it's the same thing if you're using fondant or gum paste. It's the same thing, but you're just not going to use glue. You're going to use egg whites or water, you know, things like that. But the modeling parts, the same thing. I'm using a sandpaper and just to clean up the edges to don't get all, you know, uneven and full of little things. So I'm just rounding the edges and cleaning up the bottom so it's straight and clean. I clean up very well your table before you open any type of dough. I'm going to put my um, cake topper on the acrylic base because as I'm using cold porcelain, cold porcelain cannot touch fondant or gets all wet and sticky and it's gonna mess up your cake so always use a base if you're using cold porcelain for a fondant cake I'm gonna start with um, her head so we're gonna um, work a little bit of the black and we're gonna open with your rolling pin my cold porcelain today is not really soft um, I don't know who is used to use cold porcelain or not um, it, if it gets a little older or you know you open too much it gets a little hard but just try to play a little bit with um, the, the cold porcelain and it's gonna get better I just making the video so I don't want to make you guys wait too much but I can open like that but just um, work like it when you're making bread you know just kneel it a little bit be careful you see my arms has a little bit of the star foam be careful to don't get a new dough um, I'm gonna open but not leave that too thin because everything like in the cake like when you're covering a cake if you leave too thin you're gonna see every single imperfection and you can see the color as well other than I'm using black but that's okay so I'm not gonna leave too thin see you can see it and then I'm gonna use a glue to do that I'm just measuring to see and now I'm gonna cover with the glue I use my fingers or a toothpick or something else just because I think it's easier but be careful to you clean your finger before you put it the hands in your dough just to don't mark and we're gonna put it right in the middle and cover it pulling all the excess down go gentle like you're covering a cake because you don't want the marks be careful with your rings like mine or your fingers, fingerprints and everything. Just go slow and you it's gonna be fine. I'm just getting all the marks out. I'm sorry guys about um took so long to put a video up. It's just because I had my three babies sick for like three, four weeks, like almost a month, and then the old my older one got sick, so here it was like a mess. But we're back. <laughs> so I'm gonna just fold the excess of the cold porcelain back if you're using gum paste or fondant just do it the same and I'm just doing right there and that's gonna be the ladybug's face guy I don't know if you guys know but I get a lot of um, emails asking if I sell the cake toppers I already made yes I do I will leave the link on my Etsy page below if you guys need it i have candles i have cake toppers i have spatulas for, for serving your cake everything you can find there and if you can find there 
you just send me an email and I will check what I can do for you, like create for you. I'm just still putting the access in the bottom and leaving everything straight because you don't want anything, you know, flowing around or going all crazy because I want flat on my acrylic base. Take your time, as I always say, to get all the marks off. The same as gum paste. Cold porcelain needs a little bit, I think, more work than gum paste and you don't get any marks but it's you just use the warm on your hands and the palms so you don't get any fingerprints i'm using the craft phone as this always use and just if you're using gum paste or fondant because it's edible just use a clean one just don't reuse anything as i'm using cold porcelain still not edible as gum paste is edible but it's kind of not edible because nobody's gonna eat it because it's hard as a rock that's what people always ask but why you do cold, cold porcelain and if it's not edible and you're gonna put in a cake you're not gonna eat gun paste either because <laughs> it's really hard so now we're gonna open the red to make her body um if you guys want to know i think my smaller ball is like 60 milliliter i mean milli, like i don't know I will measure I think six inches and the big ones a little it's almost a double with that but that depends how big you want the cake topper as I'm making that because it was requested the video and she wanted that size I thought that it was better to just make that size so it would be easier for her to understand but you can make smaller you know you can make as big as you need it and also let me know if it does um, I tried again to put the camera in a other place um i guess i don't know if it's gonna be better for you guys i was trying to see you know the best way um let's see i open not leaving too thin again and we're gonna cover the other bow exactly the same put a little glue measure to see if you can cover the whole thing and just gently and patiently you can um, go putting everything to the top of the table I'm just going to use the phone before I cutting because my red's not that hard like the black that was so it was sticking a little but um, you don't need it <laughs> and now um, we're going to cut the excess I always use an exacto knife because I think somebody asked me an email ask what I used to cut I think scissor is harder because then you need to get your topper in your hand so I use the Zecto knife but you can use a knife or anything you have home then it's pointy and now I'm just showing the other way around how I pulling the excess to the bottom of the I'm not gonna cover it on the bottom because I would use the base or I would use um, a crafty foam or something or if you don't, you can also make a ball with gum paste or cold porcelain, depends what you're using, and just, you know, use a cookie cutter or make a ball and you just place there. Just got gets all the marks. And with that wood skewer, I'm using that because she doesn't have any tools and I was trying to figure out a way then she can make the stopper without buying anything. So I'm just using what I have, but you can use anything, any tool or just to mark the middle of our ladybug. You push down, but not too much because you don't want the ball to show up. You don't want to see the white, but you want the mark to be right there. And if you use cold porcelain as I am, cold porcelain when it dries, it shrinks and the marks get, they don't, the, the marks that you do, they normally get a little softer, so marks more than if you're using gum paste and something else because they tend to disappear. And now I'm opening the black um, to make her spots. With a cookie cutter, you can use a smaller or bigger, doesn't matter. I'm just making a little spots for the ladybug. I 
um, you don't have the right number to make it. You just make as much as your heart <laughs> is contained or as much as you think you want to put it on. I don't like to put them too close. So I'm gonna, you know, go around, not too symmetrical. I'm sorry about the background noises. I think my husband's hungry. <laughs> He's attacking the fridge and it's kind of late right now. So <laughs> um, just keep putting, if you need, you can use glue. If you're using gum paste, just use a little water. I'm cutting one and a half because I want to just put a little bit on the center just because I thought that there was too much red there and just just to make a little detail and I'm gonna use the other part to the other side right there and keep making little balls and keeping putting on her it's a very cute ladybug. It's very cute for baby showers or for first birthdays because they're cute and it's an easy party to make. Then you can almost make all the decoration home. It's not like you're trying to make a princess, you know, faces and things like that. So here we go. Be sure that they all stick together. So I'm just checking and making sure that there's no edges or anything that is not sticking in there. Now I'm good at the same wood skewer that I used that. You can use a toothpick, you can use anything. I'm just gonna put it right there to keep the body and the head together. You don't even need to use that if you're using the base like I am, but I prefer to be sure, like safe, safe and sorry, you know. And I use a little glue and now I'm gonna find the best, you know, softer, smooth side to be the front and I'm gonna place right there. You just put them together. And now with the white I make two little balls. As you seen, just be sure that they are the same size. And then you just push them together, flatting them to make the eyes. As I told you, you can I'm trying to show her the video as less tools possible. You can use the same cookie cutter, then you cut to make um, the, um, the spots. You can do that by hand like I'm doing it, because I like not too flat, so I thought then the balls flat a little bit cuter. And now I'm doing the same thing, two little balls of black, and I'm going to place right there on the white you flat be sure you know check if it's round enough or close enough to perfect round and you place right there you can make her looking up looking down look to the side anything here we go Now I'm gonna make a little tiny bow with white for the light reflection and just to give a little more life to our ladybug. Now I'm gonna make the smile and with the same snake that I'm opening I'm making the eyelashes. So um, don't, you know, just keep the rest of the snake that you know using for the smile. And now I'm cutting it and see I'm cutting it a little smaller to make the eyelashes. Because I thought that she would be cute with the eyelashes. Um, actually, um, this... I'm sorry about that. It's my computer. It's crazy. <laughs> but um, this design, she sent me a picture. Um, so I don't know if it's anybody's design. So if it is, just please let me know. I will give the credit behind, uh, below. She just sent me a picture and asked me to to teach her how to make it. So it's not my creation of the topper. It's just, I'm just teaching how to make. So if anybody knows who made it, 
please let me know and I will happily put the credits down and down below but I'm just making a little eyelashes just be careful to cut I was trying to show you guys how like how big I was cutting but it's hard but you just place right there you can make three you can make two I like two better I thought then three was a little much but you can make as much as you want for her eyelashes she can be very cute and now I'm making a heart um, I think probably you guys saw many times I'm making hearts on my videos you make a bow flat on the bottom and mark the center so let me show you guys again oh no the editing got out there but it, you can go to my other videos and I'm pretty sure you can see I think even I have a video showing how to make a heart you just you or you can use a cookie cutter as well and now I'm gonna make her antennas so don't make that too thin because you want to appear one is up I'm just measuring to see how big I want to um, then to be but I'm not gonna put on the ladybug right now because as cold porcelain and even gum paste they need to dry if I put this right now it's just gonna flip down and it's not gonna get the shape you want so what I do I measure I see if it's exactly the way I want it and I use the foam and let it dry and then when it's completely dry I will place there because then I can fold it and curly it and do whatever I wanted to do I'm just being sure that they are both the same size and now I'm gonna place in the phone and let it dry uh, at the shape I want it you know you can curly more curly less you know um, that depends what you want and I'm using a toothpick actually I have a toothpick then I'm gonna put it there and let it dry with the toothpick so then I can place on her head just be careful you roll a little bit around if you're having true like a little issue but the two peaks is gonna be right there and if you're using gum paste um, or fondant always tell your customers then you're using foams and two peaks wood skewers anything in your toppers even though nobody's gonna eat them but just to be safe you tell them then you know test things that are not edible and now I'm just gonna let it dry right there see they're gonna be right there let me see if I can show you guys I'm gonna make the hole because cold porcelain gets really hard as gum paste does and then it's gonna be very hard to make the hole so I'm just gonna place two two peaks the places that I want the antennas to be and let it dry like that so when it's completely dry I take it then out off and I put the new ones on um, and then is the base then I said that I was going to place it in and in the beginning of the video you can see that I put some sleeves and some little tiny ladybugs on around because I thought that I was missing something you guys can do that as well or just leave her there um, I hope you guys like it I hope that will help you Alicia and I hope you like the video thank you so much I talk to you guys soon bye